to the offensive rebound. Dragic with the scoop. Dragic from downtown. Kaboom. Cousins losing the ball and saving it in. The Dion Waiters, the EDAP numbers, three on one. It's Waiters, and it's good. Waiters gets by a flower. Got the fat land the scoop. Tyler Johnson racing with Gay and Lawson and scoring. Kaboom! Tyler Johnson, 20 points, his season high. Friday night basketball in Toronto, where the Heat begin a two-game road trip where they'll face the NBA's top two scorers. DeMar DeRozan and the Raptors tonight, Russell Westbrook and the Thunder on Monday. Well, Josh Richardson in the house. Good to see him. Yeah, very good. Now, will we see him tonight is the real question in action. He is very close to returning. We know Justice Winslow to his right will be in action, as will Dion Waiters, keeping it cool, and then enter the dragon. The dragon. Gordon. DeMar DeRozan, the leading scorer in the NBA thus far. Over 36 points a game. Toronto at home hosting the Miami Heat on Friday. And Hassan Whiteside, a big presence in the middle for Miami. Just snatches that one out of midair for the SWAT. Pascal Siakam, you see that one no longer. Hassan Whiteside. Now on the offensive end, Whiteside gathering the loose ball. And puts it in off the window. 21 points, 16 rebounds for Whiteside. Toronto, though, getting it going. These two teams meeting for the first time since the Raptors eliminated the Heat in the Eastern semifinals of last year's playoffs. DeMar DeRozan and Terrence Ross with the circus shot. 20 points in 21 minutes for Ross off the bench. Doesn't even need to look at the bucket to get it to go. Then how about Kyle Lowry? Gets into the paint, draws three Miami defenders. Easy kick out to DeRozan in the corner for three. Toronto led at halftime, 52-46. Diesel dunks nominee here in the third. It's Whiteside. Uh, this is an easy one, but look at him. Looking a little like Aaron Gordon in the dunk contest. Between his legs, Whiteside, the big fella, showing off some agility and flexibility. DeRozan would get things going. High off the window with a fourth right there. Then DeRozan knocking down a jumper. And how about a 34-point game? Fifth straight game of 30 or more to start the season. First person to do that since some guy named MJ back in 86-87. Raptors win by nine. Well, he lose tonight 96-87, but tonight's team play of the game, call him the human highlight reel. All right, so maybe he's not Dominique Wilkins, but John Hassan. Pretty be. close right there, a seven-footer doing that. I don't think the Heat would want him in the slam dunk contest, but that's pretty good stuff right there. He had a move. Oof. Did pick up a charge, but pretty close to going coast to coast. And he was uh, tremendous. I mean, he really had his way with a very good big man in Valanciunas. I mean, Hassan asserted himself after 10 first half points, finished with 11 in the second half, but he did it with more authority. I thought the Heat got back to focusing on him in the third quarter. Uh, he finishes with 21 points, 16 boards, five more offensive to get extra, uh, you know, rebounds uh, and, and points, I should say. And then uh, really filled up the lane nicely to block shots. Look at him here, just showing the versatility of the big man, the old Dominique Lutcher. But he wound up holding Valanciunas to just five points on one of two shooting. Uh, that was shocking. And, you know, when you start looking at double-doubles to start the season, he's right up there with some of the Heat greats. Yeah, he has now surpassed Ronnie Cycli of Heat Fall with two and three on the season. If you'd like to catch tonight's game again, tune in tonight at midnight, about 90 minutes from now. We'll replay all of tonight's action presented by your South Florida Honda dealers. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports Sun, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For my partner, John Crotty, the one and only Jason Jackson, the great duo of Eric Reed and the coach, Tony Fiorentino. I'm Will Manso saying thanks for watching. We'll see you back on Monday night. For now, we leave you with the final take. Are you ready for this? Uh-huh.